Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with something I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, and that's take the bare bones Ram 9 and give it a workout. I thought the SMG was very powerful in the bare bones configuration when I was ranking it up through Interstellar, and I just haven't revisited it without any attachments on it. Now what you're looking at is a weapon with attachments, and those attachments made this Ram 9 blistering. But we're not going to look at that today. We're going to look at the bare bones. And I have a future video in the next few days that takes this configuration onto the field of honor. But when you compare the two, this configuration versus bare bones, very little difference between the two. A couple of significant, but very little difference overall. The bullet velocity, if you can believe the number, and sometimes those numbers are typos, is about 100 meters per second faster for the configured Ram 9. The ranges are just slightly more, the hip fire slightly better. I look at four numbers when I'm building my weapon. The sprint to fire speed, the aim down sight speed, the ranges, which are about the same here, and the aim down sight movement speed, how fast can the weapon strafe. And the configured version gives you slightly better ranges, significantly better aim down sight, and a better sprint to fire speed. But the stop the press numbers is the ADS movement speed. The strafe speed is a full 0.6 meters per second more than the factory settings. So that's that's going to allow you to bounce side to side and stay out of the sights of the enemy. The ADS movement speed for the factory setting is still decent, but it's much better configured. So let's take the bare bones Ram 9, powerful in any configuration, including no configuration, onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did to my friendly enemies. Let's get into this, and I'm already taking damage. The bell has just rung for free for all, and somebody's trying to gack Grandpa. But you can see the mobility of the factory settings, the unboxed Ram 9 SMG. Now, that was the aim down sight movement speed, the strafe speed. It's 3.5 meters per second, which is pretty good. Did you see how fast that lady ran? How can she run that fast? Must be really good, right? Good players can run faster than the maximum speed for a weapon that's published. So it puts out a lot of rounds very, very quickly. I don't know what that guy was doing in the corner. I think he was watering the plants. And it's very mobile. And you know what? The recoil is easily controllable. Grandpa got a few long shots during his testing. And the hip fire, that's the smartest thing to do with it. If you're within any range of that person, use the aim down sight movement speed and the hip fire and you're going to win more times than you will not aim down sight speed's a little slow at 200 and what was it 20 second milliseconds there's the guy watering the different guy watering the nope same guy watering the plants you don't get to see much of america by standing in the plants of course i don't think this is america i think this is brazil and that where rio is Ooh. Now I did, there's the fast, look how fast she moves. Oh my word. She's taking drugs too. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> and that's slow motion. That guy was a quick mover too. Oh, there she is. Lady fat. Yep, she ran right out of my bullets, but... Can't outrun a bullet no matter how fast you are. Superman can. He's faster than a speeding bullet. He's also more powerful than a locomotive. So I need a Superman skin. Now there is going to be a bonus game, free for all, after the F4 Phantom pops its chute, does its landing roll. Something I did thousands of times. I dumped the chute once on the runway. That's when you improperly deploy it. 
No problem with stopping, but they got to shut down operations on the runway while some buddy goes and collects the shoot drag shoot some moron has left there's a hip shot and at that point i was the moron i raised my hand aim down sight the strafe speed that guy's quick got him with a hip shot in the end and there was a third quick guy the guy dressed in white there he is yeah he got me with a knife look how fast he runs oh my word All right, Grandpa's ahead. He's really loving this weapon. I say that in the third person like I'm the king of England or something. But I'm sure King Charles would love this weapon too. I don't know if he's tried it or not. One time one of our guys, there's the fast man. One time one of our guys, we were deployed to RAF Falconbury flying missions over the continent of Europe for practice, for training. And the Prince Charles flew a Harrier, but he always flew it straight and level. He's King Charles now. And they published the route that he would fly so nobody would mess with him because he is the future king of England. Well, one of our guys, and you can bounce anybody in Europe. It was kind of fun because you see a fighter, you bounce them. You fight a little bit. And Grandpa all won that one. That was a tough one. That was a really tough one, especially those super fast folks. They were tough to gag. So anyway, you could bounce anybody in Europe. So that was fun. You bounce them, they turn or wag their wings. If they wag their wings, they don't want to play. If they turn on you, then the fight's on. Well, one of our morons... Happened to be in the same area. They called it a purple route. That was the route Prince Charles was flying that day. And he bounced Prince Charles. And, of course, Prince Charles flies straight and level. Probably didn't even know the guy was there. But the people controlling Prince Charles knew the guy was there. And as soon as he landed, we had to send him home. Sad story. If I was Prince Charles, I would have bounced everybody that came my way. All right, so we're on our second free-for-all. Look at that. that person is doing a pirouette like a ballerina. Yeah, aiming at the cones. I thought that was a person. Uh, Grandpa's getting old. Mistakes, cones for people. This weapon is doing its job. It is a gacamo machine. Look at there. I don't mind dying to somebody that's really trying like that. Oh, but I do mind that. Dying on my own. Proximity mind my own. Bouncing Betty. Whoa, who's doing this? There he is. Get out of the way of the grenade, and I don't know. I don't even know what happened there. He stepped on my prox mine. Whoa, it's time for a pistol. Bare Bones Renetti. It was Bare Bones factory settings on the Renetti. And it's a beast of a weapon. All the handguns are beasts in this game. If I could shoot, I wouldn't have to reload so often. It's got 32 rounds. So for me, the way that it puts out, the speed at which it puts out the bullets... Factory settings, that's about two GAX, maybe three. There's a guy that's standing in the corner. Early warning on the prox mine. I think he went to my right. There he comes. <laughs> Look how fast that guy's moving. That might have been the same guy as the game before. I played these games one right after another. For those of you who think skill-based matchmaking doesn't, Give Grandpa a hard lobby. There's another fast one. He tried to throw a knife at me, which is dangerous. Shouldn't play with knives. I always try to work up to the head because that's where the biggest damage is. If the person already has some damage, getting a shot in the head may gack them a lot quicker than you think. There's somebody shooting Grandpa's back. Got him at distance. We built up an okay lead, but at free-for-all, 
that lead can evaporate in 30 seconds. Because everybody's trying to do the dirty deed on everybody. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Grandpa's going to gain a situational awareness. I see a thermite. Somebody must have thrown up from there. So that's the direction I go to find the thermite thrower. And I always check that corner. Nothing you can do about that. And now the game is tied. I told you. Once again, there's another one after another game. Oh, <laughs> got tickled. There's another game after this one. That I want. What, look at that! Look at that! That guy tried to beat me down, tried to hit me in the teeth. So the Ram 9 factory set. Oh, somebody's got one of those. That's not good. Factory settings is a beast. And when you build it, be careful not to pull its teeth. You want the beast to have sharper teeth. So I'm willing to build it for a faster aim down sight speed and a faster strafe speed. Range, it's already got decent range at about, what, 13 meters? If it extends, fine. If it contracts a little, fine. I'm not going to worry about the recoil. And the sprint to fire speed, I'll improve that. So what I'll be doing, and there's the last kill, is I'll be building on the good parts of this gun without impacting it at all. Hoo-yah. Thumbs up. Ready for takeoff. So please like and subscribe. It helps me, helps the family. Let me know in the comments if you're trying this without any attachments. Cheers and peace.
final minute. The mission is complete. Good work. <laughs>